Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm in Game Maker Studio 2. Um, I have the pro version, I have the latest update, so this is 2.3. So here I have a Game Maker project, and it's it's relatively simple. I have a simple sprite, which is basically 400 wide by one pixel high, okay? And then I have the origin for that, by the way, is in uh, the center, middle center. And then I have an object, okay, that uses that sprite. And in there, I got three methods, all right? And then I have, for now, let me show you the room. I have a room, and all I have in that room is just that one object that I have created out here, all right? So what I want to show you is let's take a look at the uh, code that's inside the object first. Basically, I have some values that I'm, in, I'm initializing here, and one of them is going to be the surface normal of that blue line that I just showed you, and then the second one is going to be an incoming vector, and I'll explain that when I show you. Basically, I have the, when you move the mouse, I draw a line from the tip of the mouse down to that blue, and that would be represented by the B vector. And then the R vector is going to be the calculated reflection vector. So you can imagine that something followed my mouse down to the surface and bounced. Where, where would it end up? Okay. So basically, I'm initializing the values here. Um, and then in my draw function, all I'm doing is drawing the sprite. And then I'm putting some information up at the top left of the screen that shows you uh, information about the uh, incoming vector, the surface normal, the reflected vector, and then the angle of that blue object that you'll see because I allow you, I allow you to rotate it in any direction. And then I draw the lines from the mouse and then the reflection vector. And then um, I draw the no uh, surface normal. Now, if you remember, I showed you a unit vector that, that has a, a magnitude of one. Well, since we're in the, the game here, and since you could rotate that, you're not even going to be able to see it if I drew the normal. It's so small, you know, it's going to be a fraction of a pixel in either direction. It would show up as one dot, um, and you wouldn't see it because it would be part of the line itself. So what I do is I scale it by 30 just so that you can see the white line, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I show the app. Now, in the step event, all I do is I grab the left and right keys. I rotate it um, based on the input of the left and the right key. And then I calculate the incoming vector based on the mouse position minus the position of the blue object origin. And then I calculate the surface normal here based on the angle of that sprite, the blue sprite. And then here, like I showed you in the, in the, the vector video, you need to invert the incoming vector before you call the reflection formula. So I do that by, I invert it here by multiplying both components by negative one, and then I pass that into my reflection, okay? And then I pass in my surface normal, and this is false, it could actually be true. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. It could actually be true, but when I was doing some testing, it wasn't in a position where it could be true. So basically, that is using some code that I wrote. And again, I'll, I'll give this stuff to you if you want. This is basically, and, and the thing with this is that this is uh, Game Maker Studio 2.3. It won't work um, under any other version because of the fact that uh, I'm using constructors and I'm using structs. So I'm using their lightweight, object-oriented uh, uh, stuff that they added to the latest patch, but you can still have it anyway. It can be converted. You you would just have to write it as a bunch of different scripts because um, the earlier versions don't support this. So basically, I have a bunch of vector 2D vector functions in here. I got one that negates it, one that adds two vectors, one that subtracts it, uh, scaling it, rotating it in any direction, calculating the magnitude, normalizing it, um, how to get the direction of the vector. Um, and then it's got two string. 
which basically allows me to output debug information uh, by overriding the default behavior for this struct. Okay. And then down here, I got the distance between two vectors, cross product, angle between two vectors. And here's the dot product. As you can see, the formula for that is very simple. Okay. It's basically the V's, V1's X times V2's X plus VY, uh, V1's Y times V2's Y. That's it. That's the dot product. Here's the one that does the projection formula. Okay. And then here's the one that calculates rejection. A rejection vector is basically a vector that goes from the, uh, the end vector back up to the vector that's coming in. Basically, if I had a vector that was over here and I was doing a projection, okay, and it projected along this vector down here, a rejection vector goes from this point where the shadow is back up to the tip of that vector. That's a rejection vector. And here's the reflection formula, okay? Um, and it's all using the code above. And again, if there's enough interest, um, post below, and then I'll put this out there in a share that you guys could download it, download the whole project, use it for whatever you want. Um, I don't care. Uh, so let me show you what the app does. So I'll run it. As you can see, I have a green vector here. Now, the green vector is going from my mouse down to here, okay? This white thing is the surface normal. Remember, it's not really that long. It's only one unit long, so you, you wouldn't even see it. It would be a dot. So I purposely scale it up by 30 so you could see it. But the green is my incoming. So if a ball was coming in this way, it would bounce out along the red. You see? That's the, the bounce angle, okay? And I can go on the other side, same thing. If the ball was coming in this way, it would bounce out that. That's um, how you could do your bounce angles, okay? Same thing down here. It's all the same work. But here is where it gets, it still works, okay? I could change the angle of that, and it still works. I could change the angle. doesn't matter what it is. It'll still work, okay? And up here, I'm showing you the angle. This is at 106 degrees from where we initially had it. And these are the actual um, screen values of my my um, head or terminal points of the red and the green vector and the surface normal. You'll see if I get this back up to zero. I'm using the arrow keys for that, by the way. <laughs> That's perfectly flat. You can see my X is zero. Oh, uh, and my Y is, is negative one. So in, in screen coordinates. So you know, these aren't unit vectors. See, those are small. This is eight. You know, if I came in at, a, at, a, at um, if you look at V1, that's negative 18. It'll be positive. If I put it on this side. I'm looking at this number here. Those are basically, like I said, that's the coordinate of where my mouse is. Negative 240, negative 121. Um, from this origin, those are the vectors. Okay. Again. So I'll put this app out there if you guys are interested, but that's that formula in action. And like I said, it can be on any, um, angle. It'll, it'll work. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, it's any arbitrary angle, non axis aligned. Um, and you could use it for collision detection. Um, if you wanted to expand on the formula more, you can even take it so that you can calculate that you would stop here. If you were traveling and you did a collision with this line, how far in would you have went? Because if I was coming in at this angle, okay, I would come in, let's say this, let's say I was going to collide there. I wouldn't want my object to appear at the end of the red line down here where my mouse is because it, I might want it to stop here and then only come out far. Like the collision is going to absorb due to friction, some of this speed. And also we could, we could burn off any of this that we did move before the collision and subtract it out. So because all this is doing is if you, if this vector here had a length of a hundred, the red vector also has a length of 100. I'm not doing anything to the length. 
All I'm doing is reflecting the angle because that's all I was trying to teach in that video. So, of course, this can be applied to any language, any game engine, uh, the code. Um, I mean, I have that code in C Sharp, C++, you know, and it could work in Unity, it could work in Godot, it could work in, in Game Maker. You would, you would have to, of course, change these scripts. They wouldn't work. But at least you could look at the scripts to get the formulas if you want. And I went through it. You could just pause the video if you want to see it. Let me um, zoom in. Okay, there we go. I made it a little bit bigger in case you guys want to go through it and, and type this stuff in. You can pause it and type it in. And, and like I said, let me know if you want this, and I'll give it to you. Uh, you know, based on, if there's enough interest, I'll put it up on my website and let you guys download it. Um, or I'll put it into GitHub, something, whatever you guys want. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this formula in action, and I'm sure a lot of you will find it pretty useful because <coughs> I'm always seeing the question: you know, How do I, how do I calculate the bounce angle of my ball? And they want they're trying to do it on angled surfaces. Well, this is how you do it. That's it. If you like this video, please click like, please subscribe, and please pass this around. I'm trying to, uh, you know, get myself out there. Got myself noticed. Let me know if there's any uh, topics that you want me to focus on in the future. I'll be coming out with more videos. And what I'm going to try to do on my channel is take things that, that are out there, but people are, are describing them in difficult ways. And I'm just trying to bring it to you or introduce it to you as simple as possible. And when provided, when I can, I'll provide code that will give you an example of how to do it. Because I think that you learn better by doing and I just believe in um, sharing. So anyway, everybody have a good day. And that's about it. Peace.